Ladies and gentlemen, we got another reaction for you today. This is Thriller Thursdays. This is a short film called It's Downstairs. This is by far one of the best short horror films I have ever seen. It's 30 minutes long. Grab your popcorn, grab your drinks, set your recliners. It is worth the ride, okay? One of the best short horror films I have ever watched, okay? Hey, post comments down below. Let me know what you all think about this at the end. My book, The Prodigy, is out now. Look at the description down below. And hey, enjoy the video. God bless. Okay. We're back with more Thriller Thursday. This is It's Downstairs, short horror film. This came out a month ago. I saw this on YouTube. And, well, I, I was scrolling on YouTube trying to find a short horror film. And I came across this. I, I was a little hesitant on doing a 30-minute video because I am a little tired. But, but when I saw the first 10 seconds or first minute i said oh yeah i'm watching this i'm watching this but something the holy spirit told me to have this because i see that i see the holy bible right there because i got mine right here and you know i show horror films trying to use the holy bible and stuff like that trying to warn us and all that about the depths of demons there's seven sins and all that there's seven sins and each sin is each demon each sin is a demon attached and all that you know the bible is the book of healing okay and they're trying to use that as as like a that's like a, a scary thing like or whatever that they, they i don't know how i don't know how to explain it but i i don't know how to explain it but i'm very intrigued i'm gonna watch this okay I don't scare easy, but I do like horror films. Okay, let's get into it. A day in the life present presents is downstairs. A short film by Anthony Flay, directed by Anthony Flay and John. Yeah, my my screen is in the way. You can't see that. From it, it might be long, man. Okay. In the Bible, there are seven sins. He says, There's a demon attached to this glass of souls. His name is, I ain't gonna say his name. Speak to her. She's on some BS. I already know she's on some BS. Hey, you guys, you made it. Oh, nice That's good. They you in the minute. I know. Yeah. That's what I said. You, yeah. I missed you. Yeah, well, hey, hey. Taller. What's up? Hey, what's, what's up, up? guys? I'm so glad hey, to see you. Why are we at your parents' parents house, though? Don't worry about that. I'm going to explain to y'all right, later, okay? Just go in, have a drink, get comfortable. You. Look at this I am so oh glad God. all of you guys made it tonight. I'm saying though, why you got us here at your parents' house? Well, you was so anxious to get us over here. What's going on? Why do you ask so many questions? I want to get to that, okay? Why she got so many oh, friends? I know you're probably thinking <laughs> why I invited y'all to my parents' house. But as you know, I... Hold on, ain't nothing wrong with having that many friends. You know, just got to be careful. You know, as long as they're all loyal and faithful. And they all, you know, just ain't nothing wrong with having that many friends. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, just let me be quiet. Let me just watch the video. To my parents' house. But as you know, I took a trip to Jerusalem. And while I was there, I ran into the shaman who showed me this little game. And I thought, uh, here you are go. you jet lag a little bit? Are you just serious? Or are you just like <laughs> tired? Because I know how it is when you go travel. Sonia, trust me. I played this game when I was there. I just didn't get a chance to finish it. And I figured, why not play it with you guys? We need seven people. You guys are my top seven friends. So I figured, I mean. So when you was there, you played this game before, right? Not necessarily. I mean, they told me how the game is played, so I figured, why not play it tonight? So, uh, what we gotta do? Well, 
It's pretty easy. There's not that many steps. I mean, I have everything already prepared upstairs. Oh, it's man, let's see, man. Why we gotta go up there for? Why we can't do it down here? Well, the game required us to be elevated. That's why we have to do it upstairs. And that's why I chose my parents' house. Well, what's the game about? <laughs> parents at? Well, you guys will see when we get upstairs. I just gotta know that you all are in on playing this game. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. Definitely yeah. down to do Come that. on, guys. I don't know about that. I mean, you what could possibly happen? happen? So you done took a trip, then you invited all of us, and now you ass want to play games. None of you guys have to play for real. But I think this game is going to be fun. I mean, like, what's the worst that can happen? Why y'all acting all scared? It's just a game. Of course, it's that one That's friend that be like, oh, what's okay. the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? I'm down, but I'm down. <sighs> Shit, baby, you know I don't play no games. Man, bring your scary ass on. Why you just gonna talk to me like that in front of company, man? I know y'all follow me upstairs. Uh, I'm excited to be playing this game with you guys. I'm kinda excited too. Nah, I doubt that. <laughs> Why is it so dark, photo? Oh, yeah, I'm dark for no reason. It says to move. Oh man, we you know I'll be with this shit, man. You remember this one? Yes. So ah. light. Oh hell no. No. Okay. I'm gonna need each one of you. First of to all. First of all. First of all. If it's late at night and your friend, first of all, if it's late at night and your friends invite you to come over their house, please ask them, what am I going over there for? If we just hanging out, okay, cool. But if, we, if we're playing a game, you got to elaborate on that, okay? If we playing a video game, okay, cool. I'm all, I'm all for that. But if we playing like a, like a board game at night? No. A card game? No. No. And if you walk into a room and you see that on the floor, you walk out, you you go to the next state. Okay? And I'm not exaggerating. You leave and don't come back. You break ties with that friend. You pray for him. And then you leave. Okay? That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. So where do I stand? It doesn't matter which candle, just pick a candle. You see what I be saying? Weird shit. I don't think I wanna play no more. What kind of shit you on? Do you guys not trust me? Hell so no. is everybody ready to play the game? Eric, could you shut the door for me, please? Hold on. Hold on. The resolution is kind of low. It's so the game we're going to be playing tonight is called Seven Demons. This game chooses you and picks your deepest, darkest sin. If you do not confess your sin, the game will know if you're being truthful or if you're telling a lie. So now I need you guys to sit down in front of your candles so I can explain the rest of the game to you guys. I walked out. I would have walked out. I'd be like, no, nah, bro, I can't do it, bro. You call me a, a, a B I T C H, or you call me all that. Do it with the red hoodie, no. Like, yo, like, so hey, man. In the of this circle is a jar. Inside this jar are pieces of paper. Each paper contains every one of you guys' sins. You will have to choose a piece of paper and read your sins out loud. Do everybody understand? After you pick your paper, you must read off your sin. Once you have read off your sin, you will pass it to the next player. Next player will repeat the step. Do we understand? How do I know if that's my sin or not? Huh? 
The sin picks you. The sin picks everybody. First of all, hell no. Jerusalem, huh? Hell no. Whatever, whatever you went to Jerusalem at. Uh, first of all, wherever you went to Jerusalem at, that that dude was lying and trying to set you up and trying to send you straight down to hell. Okay. A sin picks you. That is false. No sin picks you. Okay. That's how you know this is a demonic game. That's how you know it's a demonic game. I'm pretty sure sin doesn't pick you. I'm pretty sure it don't. My sin is slow. For the reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through laying on of my hands. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Oh, man. Let's see what he's talking about. Wrath. A man who is incapable of being angry at sin is at the same time thereby adjusted to being incapable of having real love for righteousness. So there is a sense in which a man may be said to be angry and not sin not. It's witchcraft. It is witchcraft. <sighs> Silly ass. I guess my sin is pride. <laughs> Ultimately, pride is extreme love and focus on oneself. That kind of pride that stems from self-righteousness or conceit is sin. However, and God hates it because it is a heinous to seek in him. Pride goes before destruction and a haunty spirit before a fail. covet your neighbor's house, do not covet your neighbor's wife, male or female servant, ox or donkey, or anything else your neighbor owns. Hmm. Hmm. Since y'all believe me in this shit, let's see what I got. My sin is gluttony, who has the spirit given fruit of self-control, thus shall be able to enjoy daily bread and feast in front of the presence of God, but believes, but believers must also be on guard. Yeah, I don't know about this shit here, but I At first, I was excited. But the way y'all reaction is, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. No, you <sighs> Greed. A man's life does not consist in an abundance of his possessions. Do not store up yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. You guys are doing great. This is just the beginning. 
Oh, don't say that. But... My sin is envy. They were filled with all manners of unrighteousness, evil and malice. They are full of evil, murder, strife, deceit, maliciousness. They are gossip. Now I need all of you guys to put your papers back in the jar and stand up. Okay, the second portion of this game. We are all gonna join hands and close our eyes. I need for every one of you to release yourself. Be at peace with yourself. Clear your minds of everything. God, bro. Are you guys ready? This gotta be the worst game possible. I mean, we're here now, so yeah, I'm ready. Stand on Remember, clear your minds. It's got to be the worst game possible, bro. Believe in your heart. I tell no lies. When you say his name, don't be surprised. Believe in your heart. I tell no lies. When you say his name, don't be surprised. If you believe in fear, if you believe in sin, then tell the truth or be taken from where you stand. If you believe in fear, if you believe in sin, then tell the truth or be taken from where you stand. I call on you. Even she, even she don't know. Like, yeah, what? He's here. Stand up, I'm scared. No. Raven, what the fuck you got us into, man? What the fuck was that? Who's downstairs? You good? Man, what the fuck? No, He's nigga, I heard up. something. He's here. Who the fuck is him? Drebek. Who? Drebek. What do you I mean, mean you don't know? Guys, I don't know. In the game, talked about a demon named Trebek. This is your game. How you don't know that? Yo. You ain't think to tell us that shit before we started this? Well, I knew if I told y'all, y'all wouldn't want to play the game. Man, it's some it's cool always shit. Dead. Well, I'm sorry. One In order for friend. us to finish the game, we have to go out there and face the demon. It's part of the game, you guys. And what if we just don't play? Like, do we gotta play now? We could just stop right here. Ain't no right turning now. back. Ain't no we turning back. No if we don't finish this game, we all are gonna die. I'm sorry, you guys. We have to finish the game. What the fuck did you just do? What the fuck did you do? Raven, you gotta tell me what the fuck is this? What the fuck did you do? What the fuck did you do to us? Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax, up, relax, relax, up, relax, down. relax. Relax. Don't be heated too. Like, well, first of all, I wouldn't even be there. I would have walked out. We're already here in the game. What are we gonna do? We're already here in the game. Relax. Make a choice. Relax. Y'all heard what she said. If we don't finish the game, we are all gonna die. And I don't think she's lying. How the fuck we finish this shit? We have to go out there and we have to face him. 
You're the first person. Bullshit. You were the first one to draw. Uh, you were the first uh, one to go. Fuck. Hey, that's a black person right there, bruh. Hey. Hey, that's a black person right there, bruh. He's a hey. Hey, you, you the first one. You the first one, so you gotta go, bush. <laughs> he said bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no turning back now, bro. I got my Bible in my hand. They all look at too. He's taking baby steps. Shit, man. Fuck! What we got ourselves into, man? Fuck. He said, "Hell no!" Into? Ain't no turning back. You gotta go down there. You. I will pray at this point. All your fault. All you. Now I'm about to put my hands on you. What the fuck did you just do? Guys, calm down. No, ain't no calming down. This we is have life. To finish the game. This is life or death. I'm sorry. We're gonna have to finish this game. If we don't, we're all going to die. Do y'all want that? What the fuck, Raven? What do we have to do to end this? What we have to do? Well, to every sin, there's a truth. You have to go in front of him and tell your truth, but you cannot lie about it. That's the only way. have to go to the end of the steps with your back turned to him and confess your truth Ooh. every sin has a truth and you cannot lie Ooh. Ooh, hold up hold up wait a minute hold up wait a minute you gotta go downstairs at the edge of the steps and have your back turned you gotta have your back turned <laughs> oh, that's some scary stuff right there, bro. I would have been playing. Something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name I know. You die. But you guys, if you speak the truth of your sin, he'll let you go. All you have to do is tell the truth, and he'll let you go. All right, if it's that simple, just do it. Is this a real game? Is this a real game? What the fuck is this, man? You just have to go. Just go. Just go. Let's get, get, get it over with, please. You go. I really don't mind. Cause y'all getting on my nerves. Let's do this. 
Anything for money, anything, it doesn't matter. Sex, killing, lying, it does not matter. I'll do anything for greed. I'm sorry. You know truer than that. truth is I don't believe in God and I think my way is the only way I, I don't know why I just do I just I, I just have no idea but that's my truth I hope he tell the truth. My sin is pride. What is your Which caused me to lie. I never was in love with my wife. But I married her because I thought it was the right thing to do. But I, I never feel, I never feel it in my heart. My pride makes me lie. Which makes me live a life of lies. Oh. My sin, my sin is gluttony, but my truth is, I don't pray. I never appreciate anything God gave me, even if it was the little things. I don't know why, but I try to believe. I will 
give anyone anything to see them happy. I knew she was lying. I knew she was lying. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I had a feeling she was lying. People gonna get divorced. <laughs> Yo. This was a short film. Okay. I'm sorry. My recorder stopped recording. So technical difficulties. But what I was saying. Yo. This video right. This this is a top notch. Short horror film. This is by far the best short horror film I've ever seen. The best. Okay. Because it didn't have a high budget. They worked with what they got. You can tell they filmed everything with their phones. They, you can tell that they weren't top-notch actors. They didn't need to be top-notch actors. They, they, it, they were the type of people you just had grab your friends and be like, "Hey, come shoot this film with me." You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'll give you a, I'll give you a solid 150 bucks. Come see it. Come film this. Come film this with me. You know what I'm saying? And yo, the the channel only got a thousand subscribers, and it got. 37,000 views and it came out a month ago and it's looking to grow even more. I want y'all, I want Struggle Nation. They're known for watching show horror film. I want Struggle Nation to watch this show horror film. I want them to watch it. I want to see their reaction. But yo, they confessing they sins. Yo, and I feel bad for dude in the red hoodie, bro. Yo, I didn't love my wife, but I married her because it felt like it was the right thing to do. But then the girl came out of nowhere and said, yeah, I got the spirit of lust. I've been cheating on you with our neighbor for some years. I'm like, yo, ho, ho. There's going to be some turmoil when they get home, boy. It's going to be some turmoil. Hey, but hey, but the truth is out. The truth is out, man. Truth is out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and share. And my book, The Prodigy, is out now. And uh, yeah, man, I, I liked it. I, I loved it. I loved this short horror film, man. I loved it. I loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. All right. God bless.